Hi guys, it's Lori. How are you doing today? Something's really been weighing heavy on my mind. And as you know, if you follow me, you or even if you don't, if you, if you have any kind of sensitivity to energy, you know that there's been a, a shift recently, probably since like last November or even before that, November of 2016, where things have gone kind of haywire energetically. I mean, there's been all kinds of evidence of it, whether you're into the paranormal or not. Um, but the energy is thicker. Um, I believe that just recently, again, we've had another, I don't know, the veil's getting thinner. I feel like there's portals open everywhere. And I know some people say, you know, it's crazy to think like that. But have you noticed um, people? For instance, I've noticed that people can't hide their negative side anymore they can't hide it no matter how much they try people who have been trying to hide it for years and maybe have done a good job at it can't hide it anymore um whether it's pure evil or if it's just like bitchiness i notice a lot of greed i mean i know there's been greed in this world for a long time but it just seems more evident now i guess um <sighs> I know a lot of the uh, Christian community is believing that we're in the end times. I don't know. I know that Jesus said nobody knows the day except for the Father, and I believe that, and I don't. I wouldn't presume to know the day. Um, so just real quickly, for those of you that don't know me, and even if you do, I'm just going to go through it real quickly. I was born somehow different, gifted, able to see, know things, um, able to see like the spiritual eyes. Um, I guess you could say my intuition is very, very strong. Um, I've always felt like I had one foot in the spirit realm, one foot here. When I was a small, small child, I remember praying to God to take me out. Now, I've always had this real, <clears throat> I think we're all born with an innate longing for the Father. Whether we know him or not, whether we're born on this part of the world or another part of the world, I think we have that innate knowing innate longing for him and it, it's and, and not until we find him do we fill a void and he's always right there and I'm not going to get into a bunch of talk about that we can talk about that later if you want but I was born okay so kind of like with a, a sixth sense um, an ability to connect with the spirit realm and it's brought me down a lot of dark paths it brought me to a place that i thought was enlightenment and then through another dark path and then finally to where i am now where my love my heart is with jesus christ and i have been battling this thing over and over and over again you know it reminds me a little bit of jacob's battle even though that was one fight this feels like it's gone on and on and on for years and i hear such garbage out there from people you know i heard this girl today she can't be more than maybe 25 maybe 30 talking about how you know come on guys what she's saying is fact and you know i don't presume to know everything but I have lived this life for too many years. I'm not going to say how many. <laughs> but it's a lot longer than 20-something. We'll put it that way. A lot longer than 30-something. And I've been down some really dark roads. I have been attacked. People that say there is no spirit realm, i got to tell you, you're absolutely wrong. I've seen, I've interacted with the spirit realm. I have had interactions with spirit that I thought was good that I thought was um, you know dearly departed loved ones I've fought off negative entities I've seen people go through some stuff where they have been um, I don't know if they had they were I not possessed but um, um, controlled by negative entities I have been attacked left and right. Ask anybody that knows me personally. You know, if people hear my story. If they don't know me personally, they think it's exaggerated until they really get to know me. And then they go, holy crap, how does this happen to one person? And people that don't know me might say, well, she does it to herself. She's got to be doing something wrong until they get to know me. And they see that it's very bizarre. 
it's very bizarre. It's as if I'm fighting this invisible force always. And it's because I am. Now, I've chosen to take what I was given and to help a lot of people. And I really, I am so grateful to God that I have been able to help a lot of people. Um, a lot of people have come to me and said that they've come to God through my work with them. That I will not give up. I'm going to continue to coach. I'm going to continue to fight off negative. I'm going to continue to tell people about the truth. But let me tell you, there is, we're in a time right now where there's no more playing around. There's no more time to play around. You know, I had all these years to get to the truth, to, you know, to battle it out. I don't know how many years are left. I mean, maybe we have another 2,000 years. I don't know. But I know that the evil is here. And it's here stronger than it was last year. It's here than it's stronger than it, you know, stronger than it was last month. The evil is here. People that have had dealings with this know that what I'm saying is true. There's a there's a way to fight this. But then, you know, on the other hand, I hear these people who are quote unquote experts, self-proclaimed experts, that probably have not gone through even even a quarter of what I've gone through in my life saying it's garbage. One girl was on there, the, the girl I was talking about earlier, talking about how Jesus is a joke and, um, you know, if you want to believe in God, that's your prerogative, but it's a joke and it's crazy and there is no hell and there is no heaven. And I beg to differ with all of that. The spirit realm is much more real than the, the earthly plane. The worldly way of thinking is totally off target. I mean, people care about... Um, money and and um material things and look at what's happening we've got a whole generation that is plagued with addiction and it's not just the younger generation today just today i saw a woman i don't know how old she was because i know that drugs age you but she looked to be maybe maybe in her late 50s early 60s and i'm giving i'm aging her you know um Considering the drug use, she could have been older than that. She could have been younger than that. Nodding off, took a picture of her. My son took a video. I wasn't trying to make fun of her. I'm trying to put a documentary together on the drug use around here. And it's not just around here. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's all over the world, actually. Who would have thought a beautiful place like this? Do you know every six minutes um, a woman gets raped? Every four minutes somebody goes missing. One in every six women will be sexually assaulted in her lifetime. One out of every, one out of every four women. One of, out of every six males, men, boys, girls. A lot of those happen prior to college age. A lot of our kids going off to college, they're in bad shape. I hear about this stuff every day because of what I do. I want to help you guys get raise your vibration up not just in a way that you can manifest and you can get what you want and all of that what are you going to do okay for those of you that are into you know hey i believe in my my higher power but none of that other stuff and i'm not talking about religion i'm not talking about you know when i ask people what do you believe in they go well i go to church once in a while i'm not talking about church I'm talking about a real realm. I'm talking about real spirit, real. This is real. It's more real than this bench here, you know? Oh, God almighty. I wish I was more prepared to say this, but I got to tell you right now that the negative is stronger right now. You're going to notice it in people. You're going to notice maybe irritation. You might feel irritated. You might be being plagued by these things and not even know it. You're going to notice it in your finances. You know, you're going to know. It's like there's a fine line in people, like I've said over and over and over again, where you can see the people that are choosing to stay asleep, the people that are way on the dark side and know it, the people that are way on the dark side and don't know it, and nowadays, you know, there is, a, I know this woman who was a sociopath. I know her personally. She's not a friend of mine. Don't get me wrong. I didn't say that. 
but I know her personally. And now her latest thing is magic with a K. I don't know if she calls herself Wicca. Is she certainly not following the Wiccan harm none if if that's what she calls herself. My point is she's a sociopath. She has zero, zero compassion. She cannot feel remorse. But you know how easy it is for her to find these spells where she can harm someone? All she's got to do is Google it. All she's got to do is go on YouTube or whatever else and find something. And she's doing this and she's harming her own kids. Okay, I know my family's been under attack because people don't like what I have to say. I never harmed anybody. Even when I was going down the, the wrong path and I was wrong, I never harmed anyone. But there are those that don't care. And that's what I'm saying. This stuff, it's treated like it's nothing. It's treated like it's no big deal. People want money? Okay, let's do a spell for it or something. You know, they don't think twice about what they're putting out there. You want somebody's husband. You want somebody's wife. Whatever. Nobody cares anymore. Well, I'm here to tell you that God is real. And God is watching, and I'm not saying, hey, he's going to punish you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not into that. But we should know that he, he created this. He created this. What did somebody say the other day? They're in awe about the stars and, and you know, the universe as it, as it is. But yet it's no big deal to meet the creator it may it's like really that's how a lot of people think oh yeah yeah god's real but yeah he's good it, we'll, we'll all be all set everybody's good do you know that and i'm not trying to spread fear here please don't get me wrong i wish i would have prepared for this a little more but i just feel like it's on my heart to share with you guys i want to help everybody to come to know the truth I, I want us all to work together. I want to see love in people. Do you know what I'm seeing in people? I'm certainly not love. People who claim to love me don't care if I'm sleeping on this park bench right here. They don't care if I have to give up all my animals. They don't care if I don't have any food. They don't care if I don't have anything at all. They don't care. Those That's not love. Friends who push, push, push. Oh, well, I did it because, you know, hey, stuff's always happening. Do you know I need surgery right now? I can't get it. Not until everything's all put together. There's not one person in this world, other than those that I gave birth to, that cares about that, cares about it enough to do anything. Now, I'm not saying people that watch me don't care, and I'm not looking for sympathy, and I'm not looking for anything. I'm just saying, what is going on here? I am 100% dependent on God right now. Because I'm not doing, I'm not going to connect with spirit for anyone. I'm going to coach people. I'm going to help them. I'm going to help them become who they want to be spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically who they're destined to be. I'm going to help them with relationship. I'm going to help them with career. I'm going to help them with their spiritual self, all of that. I'm going to help them to see the truth and to grow and to be the best them that they can be and lead the best life that they can lead. That's what I'm meant to do. That's the gifts that I have. That's what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to do that. But I'm not connecting with spirit unless it's to fight your, help you fight off those negative, uh, the hauntings, all, all that negative stuff. I'll help you fight that off. Absolutely. I'm not going to say no to anybody for that. I don't get paid for that. I don't get paid for that unless you want to give me a donation, you know, but I don't ask for money for that because I don't, I wouldn't, I would never, I would never. I help people find their missing children. I don't charge for that. I help people through the grieving process. Um, 
and I do have to charge for that, but not always. I mean, it depends. Are they just calling me, you know, or are they working through? Are they working through the whole process? But you know what? Nine times out of ten, it's at a discounted price. But what do I see around me? I see people that say, well, you should be making millions, and maybe I should. I know there are people that maybe are gifted like I am and have either lost their gift or they didn't have it that great to begin with, lost in greed, and they're making hundreds of thousands um, per hour, where I just won't do that. My life is devoted to Jesus Christ. I want to help you guys. I want you to know there's an evil lurking out there. So why don't you do me a favor? Let me know if you want to sign up. Be part of a group. We'll join together. I mean, I just gave away. Biggest prize I ever give away. I just gave it away. Um, six weeks of coaching. I've never given away a prize that big. Um, I want to do coaching. I want to focus on that. I'll still do the one-on-one -on -one privates, help people get, you know, like I said, get the answers they need, get to where they need to go, help them figure out, guide them, that kind of stuff. But let's join together, guys, okay? Let's make a commitment to spiritually grow to the highest level possible while we're still here on this earth and to help others do the same. Let's help each other out. You know what? There shouldn't be anybody in the position I'm in financially, not when they're working as hard as I am, but when you're fighting evil every day and the people who claim to love you either refuse to see that, turn away. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm hurt by that, but I am 100% dependent on God, and I know that God will fix this as long as I continue to do what he wants me to do. And that's what I intend to do. I don't know. I'm going to post a better video on this, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know, beware. There is negative out there. Don't believe there isn't. Okay? And just so you know, like I said, I'm not talking about church. I was recently, not too long ago, um, I wasn't kicked out of the church, but I was told I wasn't worthy of them because I was quote unquote evil. Well, I'm not evil. Okay, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I'm not evil. Um, I'm a sinner, but by the grace of God and thanks be to God, by his grace, I'm saved. Thank you, Jesus. But I wasn't good enough for that church. Wasn't good enough for the paranormal community because I believe in Jesus. I'm not good enough for certain Christian communities because the Lord gifted me with certain things to help people through. But we're in a really bad time right now. We really are. Physically, we've got fighting and hatred. Oh, do you see that? Do you really think that's all just human stuff? You don't think spirits are leading this kind of hatred that's going on? We've got drug addiction. We've got alcoholism. We've got hatred. We've got greed. And yes, has it always been here? Yes. But you can't tell me you haven't noticed a difference that it's just out of control. We need to start caring about each other. We need to turn to God. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, I love you guys. I hope you stay subscribed. I hope you still keep calling me. Pray for me that I get through this. Okay? All right. Talk to you soon.